Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your girl coming at you with a spilling the tea video. Um, now this video right here won't be up until this current week coming. Today is Saturday. You all, you all, you guys know that your girl had to take a little week off because I was in the hospital. And forgive my dry looking face. I did just wash a face mask off, so I'm applying my cocoa butter now. So, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, let's get into this video. Mm. Gotta get under the mask. But yes, this video is basically gonna be somewhat of like splitting the teeth. Forgive me if I keep messing with my ears. They've been feeling extra stuffed lately, and that's all a part of pregnancy, I guess. But uh yeah. So um let me catch you guys up on my well-being and my health. I am currently 34 weeks pregnant and whew, a couple of days. Let's see. Now my days went from changing every Monday to Wednesday. Um, so today's what? Saturday. So, so I'm 34 weeks and three days. <laughs> but yeah, so last week. On Saturday of last week, I was, um, I felt some pain, like I explained in my last video. If you guys want to check that out, please do. Um, it should be right under this video. But yes, I went to the hospital because I felt two pains. I didn't necessarily think that it was contractions, but it, whatever it was, it, it stung me real bad enough to where I was like, I froze in place twice. But anyway, I went to the hospital. And um, they ended up uh, admitting me, so I stayed there, and I got uh, discharged Sunday morning. And I had an appointment with my OB that Monday, which was this past Monday, anyway. So I didn't set like a emergency room, not emergency room, but I didn't. You know how after you leave the emergency room, you have to set a, a quick appointment with your doctor. I didn't have to do that because I already had an appointment with her anyway that Monday. So. Uh, <clears throat> Excuse me. So yeah, so I went to that appointment Monday, which was at about eleven thirty, I think. And um guys, when I tell you things went to the somewhat to the left, it was so I had a I've had a very unexpected week, point blank period. This week was just doing the most. Yes, I got my bonnet on. My hair has like actually fueled up my whole bonnet, but anyway. But anyway, so Monday I get to my doctor appointment and, um, what is that? Oh, part of the face mask, child. So yeah, anyway, Monday I get to my doctor appointment and I'm there every bit of all of, um, a few minutes and I get hooked up to the, um, what is that, the stress test machine. That's just where they monitor the fetal movement and listen to the baby's heartbeat. And, uh, she said that I had to be on that for about 20 minutes. So I was on there probably all the 15 minutes and she came back in because she was training someone another future doctor which i'm okay with i just don't want them you're not going to deliver my baby you're a newbie no offense that's just me but anyway she came back in with the student following behind her and she said um yeah baby not baby but she said yes uh, mommy i know you're probably gonna hate this but i have to send you but i have to send you back to labor and delivery i was like Huh? She said, yeah, basically the same thing that happened to me, uh, what was it, a uh, Saturday, happened again on Monday. Basically, baby girl was, they said she was inactive. She wasn't moving as she should at this point in pregnancy. So, I wasn't afraid, but I was, was super shocked. It kind of threw me for a loop to do. So, yeah, I had to go right back to the hospital, which, thank God, that my doctor's office is connected to the hospital. So, I literally just walked out of her office, caught the elevator down, walked a few steps, and I was already into the hospital. And, yeah, that's what happened. But I, um, let's see, Monday, to see the, the, all of that happened, my appointment was at 1130, so, and I was sent over to labor and delivery probably about, about, 12:20 ish, 25 ish, but uh, yeah. So I was in triage all Monday. I didn't get out of there until like 9:30 Monday night, 
And I just, for some reason, I just knew they were going to admit me, but thank God they didn't. But yeah, I've been taking it easy ever since then. Just trying to take it slowly but surely, which is why I just went ahead and like, you know, I'm going to just take this whole week off. Because I was going to sneak a video in, but I was like, you know what, now I have to take this week off. But, um, yeah, that is, um, I'm sorry guys, my ears are stuck. I can barely hear myself. Hate that. But, yeah, that is what the hell happened to your girl. I've had one hell of a week. And, um, I don't know, guys. Like, this pregnancy is totally different. It's beyond me. I'm telling you now. But, um, yeah. So, yeah, let's just hop into something else because that kind of freaks me a little bit. But, um, yeah, let's touch bases on my video before that video about that damn hair. I pointed to our shirt. As a matter of fact, let me show you this shit. Um, from the, what is that company? Um, and Rosa. So yeah, why they why they most definitely tried your curl, okay? They tried me to the tenth power and I served it to that ass and you know how I am. But basically the ponytail was garbage. And the person of the company got mad at well she got in her feelings at me because I left her honest review on Amazon about the hair. The hair blends damn good with my natural hair. It really did. I have a picture of me wearing the ponytail on my Instagram. If you guys can go check that out, please do. But anyway, I left on there that a person should wash the hair before they install it because it was dry as hell. You guys seen that um, unboxing video. It's no secret. Like, the shit wouldn't, wasn't shaking. The hair was garbage. I even said it in that video. I was like, oh. Oh, let me check it out anyway but the hair is okay for example I washed and conditioned the shit out of the hair and um it looked beautiful after I washed it it even had a little body afterwards it was okay but the next day it went straight back to dry and just hard and it was shedding its ass off even when I was washing I was getting balls of hair and this stuff freaking 12 inch ponytail so it needs not to be losing any hair you feel me and then the next day you know as it was dry it was still shedding a little bit and this is a ponytail like i just said it doesn't need to be losing any more hair it's only 12 inches so yeah i was like yeah i gotta leave an honest review like i don't want nobody thinking this hair is a one and they buy it and it's because of me and the hair was like 30 something dollars so bitch no i'm gonna tell the truth to any hair company, if I'm going to give an honest review that's including pictures, video, YouTube, uh, a written um, review, I'm going to always tell the truth. Because I would not want that shit on me, somebody spending their coins that they didn't work hard for and saved. They they, they buy some hair because I, I was like, it was it's bomb. I'm not being real. If I say it's bomb and this shit is garbage, it's garbage, it's garbage. That's it. So let me show you guys the hair. So Baker, she she's sending me emails, DMing me on Instagram, trying to you didn't blah 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 and you didn't leave my pictures. Can you take that down and give five stars? No, I'm not doing that. I give you four stars. And the only reason I give four stars is because the hair blended with my hair. And as you guys know, my hair is super thick. As you guys can see. As you guys can see, it's you guys seen my hair and it blended with my hair. It looked really like my freaking hair. When I wore it that one time, people literally thought that it was my hair. It's beautiful and when you wash it, the curls are popping. It's it's a cute ponytail. So I gave four stars for that. And that's because I had to wash it, deep condition it. And it was um like I said, the blend game is strong on it. The blend game alone on the hair is about five stars. But I'm going to have to give you five stars because it's not a one quality. It's not. I'm not about to do that. You see that her feelings. So, yeah, here it is. As you can see, I've had it packaged in that, what it came in. And this is what it looks like. Look at it. It's not even fucking moving, y'all. Look at this shit. I have not worn it. Since that um one install, when I had it in that day, huh? Nah, I, I didn't even wear it all that day. Well, actually, I, I wore it all day and all night that day. But look at it, look. It's hair, look at it. It's freaking hair shed now. Like, it looks a hot mess. I showed the baby this hair. He told me some that hair look like hair when you walk outside and a bitch done got beat up and her hair laying on the ground. And it do look like that. 
this is garbage. I'm not finna to tell nobody about that. No, no, no. Which is why I said I was gonna take down that unboxing video, and I still am. I just haven't done it yet. Because what you ain't gonna do is get no type of um, new customers off me, and I know your hair is shit. That's just is what it is. I've worked with um, a hair company before. As a matter of fact, no, I've worked with them. I've purchased the hair with my own damn money, and it's and it's gone. Like uh, the hair um that I made the wig out of the beautiful ever Brazilian curly hair, that hair is bomb. I have not had an issue with that hair yet and I've had it for some months now. And that's that's right here. I keep all of my hair wigs that I make and ponytails and whatever. I keep it bad up so no issues. But yeah, this shit, no. As a matter of fact, I might give it to my daughter to play with put on her bottle dolls because that's exactly what it is. Bottle doll hair ain't gonna work for me. So, yeah, that's the tea on that shit. So, um, yeah, I guess I'm going to let you guys go. But, oh, before I go, I have, um, if you follow me on Instagram, then you've been seeing my makeup looks like I've been applying makeup a little bit more. And I've gotten a little bit better, I mean, in my own way. And I've even, um, done a couple looks with this, uh, hold on, let me get that, with this right here. With this box of crayons palette, and I did some looks with it. And uh, hold on, I mm, I did some looks with it, and I posted pictures on Instagram. And the CEO of the company, Super Sense, she liked one of my pictures, bitch. Yes, I'm, I was too hyped that day. So obviously, I'm doing something right if a CEO of a freaking makeup company liked one of my pictures. Gave me the big head that day. But no, anyway, um, if you guys want to see more makeup pictures, then definitely follow me on Instagram. But I am going to try to attempt to do a tutorial on here. Now, when I say tutorial, it's just going to be the way that I do it. It's not going to be the correct way that a makeup guru would do it. I'm just showing you guys the way that I do it and I've learned. And yeah, I'm enjoying it thus far. But yes, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Thumbs up this video. Thumbs up all my videos. Show your girl some love. And of course, subscribe because it is free. Um, now, I will be rolling out some more videos. And my hair is like this because I'm about to put some more box braids back in. A different color. I will do that video hopefully today or tomorrow. I'm actually The hair should be arriving here today. And I will do an unboxing slash review on that hair too. So, yeah. I will catch you guys in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.